Hello and welcome to No Worries RVing. Today we are in South Central Utah in what is commonly known as Red Rock Country. And as you can see it's a very, very, very dry, desolate area. But what we're heading to see is something that was formed basically by water. This is Route 95, going past Bears Ears and then heading towards National Bridge. Natural Bridge. Yeah, Natural Bridge Monument. We're heading to it. We're on Route 95, Utah. Finally made it to Natural Bridges National Monument. It was located near Lake Powell, Utah. Natural Bridges National Monument was Utah's first national monument. And the bridges here are formed by water, even though today it's a desert landscape. The first bridge we're going to go see is Sirapu Bridge. I hope I say that right. But uh, there's three major bridges here in the National Monument. Um, this is Sirapu. There's also Kachina and Oakomo. And we're going to go see Kachina, but Oakomo, I guess you have to take a trail back uh, to go see it, and we probably won't have time to go see that. But these bridges were named after ancestral Puebloans who once lived in the area. We just want to let everybody know, too, that there are a lot of excellent hiking trails here at the Natural Bridges National Monument that uh, lead out to the Natural Bridges themselves. You can actually walk around them on the base of them. They're very well marked. So if you want to spend more time there, that's an excellent activity to do here. The second natural bridge we were visiting is Kachina Natural Bridge. It's much like the other one. Uh, we took a little trail down to it.
Scenic Highway 95 after leaving Bridges heading towards Capitol Reef. This is where Capitol Reef starts. National Park. And it looks like it's going to storm. It's on Peach and Apple Hook. Some fruit on the field. Oh, there's a fruit on the Here it is. Okay, we stopped on 24, Route 24. If you come in from the east, the Petro Glyphs. Glyphs are just past the natural bridge. So the bridge, I think it's called Hickman's Bridge. Hickman's Bridge. If you Once you pass Hickman's Bridge, start watching on the right hand side. You'll see a nice parking area. You can park with an RV. So that's where they are before you get to the visitor center if you enter the east side on 24. Here are some of the petroglyphs that we saw here at Capitol Reef. Sorry for the uh, shakiness of the camera. We're trying to zoom in as far as we could, try to make them clear so you could see them. Really good examples though. Some are cut into the stone, which I think is, the, there's a different name for those, but I'm not really sure about that. The ranger said the last big one that fell off the of the cliff, the pressure, what's these things called, uh -huh. was in 1950-something. So some gentleman asked if they'd be taken to a museum if they fall off. Yeah, hey, were they? They haven't had any fall off since 1950, and that wasn't a national park then. Oh, okay. This petroglyph stop has a nice boardwalk to walk down. You can see them all. Yeah, the boardwalk is ADA accessible. Our time in uh, Capitol Reef was uh, cut pretty short because we assumed we could find a camping spot within the park, but uh, they seem to be full. So we're going to just go on with our trip out to Cedar City, Utah, where we expect to maybe get some yeah, the temperatures the change. Snow tops. Kingston Canyon. In next week's video, we will explain how we fixed our epic bumper failure.